Hello everyone, my name is Julie Parker and I am a Houston Meetup Organizer. I'm here today with an exciting guest that I wanted to share with you. As a business owner and entrepreneur, I meet some of the most exciting and amazing people with fascinating and exceptional businesses. And one of my missions is to share these with you so that you can um, utilize their crafts to help you in your business. So my guest today is Dora Altintis, who is originally from Australia, has an amazing accent that I could listen to for hours, um, yet she's currently living and working in the Carolinas with the most interesting business. So Dora, welcome and thank you for being here with me today. Thank you, Julie. Thanks for having me here. This is so exciting. <laughs> it is exciting. And I'm really excited to share what you do with, uh, with our members here. So can you tell us a little bit about who you are and, and what your background is? Uh, who am I? <laughs> I think um, what would be, I guess, who am I? Who am I? I'm a business strategist, first and foremost. And what my background that sort of what really matters here is I'm a business strategist, a sales trainer for corporate for over 15 years. And I guess what people really need to know about that is that in the era, I, I can't sell if, you know, I couldn't sell a glass of water you know, to a thirsty man in the desert. So I learned that questions were the answer. So I kind of became this person that's like, okay, what do you want? And, you know, where are you currently and what do you want? And I would have, my job was to go and fix it. So, and where that came to is that I became a solution finder. Mm -hmm. That then led into, because I had a passion for reading, I was also became a ghostwriter. Because oh, I was, I used to write and read myself, but then I had a lot of clients who also wanted to know, but they didn't have the time or anything, so I became their ghostwriter for them. So I've got a background in ghostwriting, sales, marketing, uh, working with corporate, with different businesses, and then I'm a trainer and educator from behind. So a trainer is in sales training, corporate training, and, you know, an educator in that sense, but I've also had a career, a very short little private career as a high-level athlete. So all things high performance fascinate me. Amazing. That, that package together has sort of made me who I am and what my business is today. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so speaking about your business, exactly what do you do and how does it benefit other people in business? It's What I do is I package expertise into published books, online courses, and signature offers. So as you sort of mentioned, um, I'm here in North Carolina, Australia's home. I married a local, so I landed. I ended up here on, I think it's a 90-day visa. I married here. I couldn't work, and I thought, what am I going to do for work? And I thought people may want to learn how to write their books. So when they came, so I packaged expertise into books. And uh, published books is what people were interested in. It was a really hot topic. And what became apparent is that everybody wanted to publish a book, but they weren't sure how to take what they knew and write it in a way where somebody would actually be interested in what they had to write or say. Awesome. Okay, so I want to ask you something. I hear people say all the time that having a book opens doors for things like speaking opportunities and other mm -hmm. opportunities for them to benefit potential clients. Mm -hmm. How does writing a book actually do that? And how is your work different? To that, it's... Yeah. So, it's a truth and a myth at the same time. So yes, like there's a lot, a lot of the lines are is that writing and publishing book will open doors, will get more clients for you, it will get you speaking opportunities and whatnot. It's true, but it's also untrue. So in, you know, it would be irresponsible for me to address one without the other. So how it does that is that it, I think before I go into how it does it, I'd like to sort of cover how it doesn't. Okay. Do okay. Because just, it's like, um, it, it's, you know what, writing a book is no longer that if you build it, they will come. What am I <laughs> It's, you know, you can write a book and it's like, hey, I wrote a book, publish it and sit on your desk and wait for Oprah to ring you. Right. <laughs> it doesn't happen. <laughs> so, but, so in that sense, just the writing and publishing process doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to have everybody banging down your door. What you can do, there's certain things that you can do in the process that guarantee that. And what it does is that the biggest benefit and how it sort of will, say, get you a speaking event, if you want, is that through the process of writing the book, you really get clear on who your target audience is, what they need to hear from you, what they want, what their problems are, and, and you package all that you have into a very easy, accessible, um, you know, little, I don't, it's not a lead maker, but one more low-level product an easy way 
to work with you with a low investment because let's face it they don't know you from the next person to the next person exactly exactly so this is a low risk low investment way of working with you okay that helps yeah um so from the speaking point of view so when you've got that all packaged it's you know the way i've used books earlier in my career back in australia as a writer was that we used to it was like the sales talk before like when we packaged we used to sort of there was one job that i did as a ghostwriter mm. where he was presenting to a board of investors for this uh my client was investing to a board of investors and so he had so many hours to sort of sit there and talk to a bit like a shark tank type of thing now how do we keep that conversation going and that sales talk happening long after we'd left the room right we packaged it all into a book oh that's fabulous yeah, and answered a lot of questions that they didn't ask that we wouldn't have had time to answer that we really sort of packaged it in there. That's so smart too. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it sounds like it did. That's amazing. 